I'm tired of having that moment. And it happens pretty daily these, these days. Of having that moment where I'm scrolling through either Facebook or Instagram and I just start crying. Uh, sobbing. Um, because of something that has happened in America, mostly. Today, literally like five minutes ago, um, I was on Instagram and um, I'm following Lonnie Chavis. If you don't know who Lonnie Chavis is, um, he plays young Randall on This Is Us. He's a black kid. He's 12 years old now. Um, he's very talented. Um, and I believe he's the oldest of four kids. And obviously he's famous. Um, But, uh, lately he's been posting about, um, everything happening in the world. And it, it hurts to see this 12-year-old going through so much. And, um... He wrote something and I'm not gonna say all of it because there's a lot there's seven slides and he wrote all of this I'm sorry. he wrote all of it and he wrote this big long thing about what it's like for him being black in America And it was painful for me to read. It made my heart hurt. It made the tears fall. Um, but I feel like it's important. Um, it is. It's important. Um, Because this is what it's like to be black in America. But I'm going to read you the first slide, um, then the one that really hit me, and then the last slide. So it starts off and it says... <clears throat> My life matters, but does it? America paints a very clear picture of how I should view myself. America shows me that my blackness is a threat and I am treated as such. I actually didn't learn about being black and what that would mean for me until I was seven years old. I thought I was a peach man. So my parents educated me on being a black man really quick with long talks, books, and movies like Amistad and Malcolm X. I was overwhelmed with confusion, fear, and sadness. I had to lean on my faith in Christ for hope, protection, and understanding. This one. My 10th birthday fell on Thanksgiving in 2018. After coming home late with my family from my birthday party, a Long Beach police officer twisted my dad's arm behind his back and pulled him from our doorstep with the door opened, claiming he was being detained for a traffic ticket. 
My mom ran to my room and told me with fear in her eyes to go into my little brother's room and stay away from the windows. She put my new baby brother in my arms and told me that no matter what I hear from our front yard, to not come to the door no matter what. I held my baby brother and cried as I could hear my mother yelling outside of our home. I thought my parents were for sure gonna die going up against the police. By the grace of God, they are both still with me. And that racially motivated harassment against my father was dismissed. Can you imagine holding on to your three little brothers while thinking that you are all going to be orphans? I can't. That's the one that got me. No child, no child should have to go through that. If you don't understand what's going on in the world, then understand this. This is what the world looks like for me. A 12 year old black boy. This is my America. Policies need to change. Laws need to change. The police need to change. Hollywood needs to change. Hearts need to change. America needs to change. Change has got to happen for unarmed Black citizens to not fear, to not live in fear of being murdered. Can you imagine being me in 2020 and wondering what the future holds? I can't. I am 25 years old. The fact that I grew up in a white household was a blessing and a curse. I say it was a blessing because I was shielded from all of what Lonnie grew up with and is still growing up with. He's only 12. He's only 12 and he fears for his life. He understands what it's like. But I didn't. I grew up not knowing what it truly meant to be Black in this country, which was both a blessing and a curse because I grew up without that fear. And now I know it. Like I know what it's like to be pulled over and be absolutely terrified of what the outcome may be. This world needs to change. So that kids like Lonnie and his three brothers aren't afraid of living. So they aren't afraid of losing their parents. This has been okay. not and I don't I don't understand why so many people are so rooted in in this 
what did we do? What what did we do to deserve this? <laughs>